children, it's good to see you all again. Today we learn how to make a doll using simple material that you have at home. You need a plastic bottle with a cap, any fabric or paper that you have at home, some white paper which we will need to make the face. Adhesive, I have used Fredicon. Some string, I have taken jute, we could use wool too. This is for the hair. And you will need a red and a black marker pen to make the features of the face. Shall we start now? You take the bottle. I have just cut out a piece of paper which I'm going to stick on top of the bottle. I'm just closing the mouth. This is to help us. We're going to stick the face of the doll on top of this. Okay. So just wait for two minutes. You can cut out the extra portion. Just wait for two minutes, let it dry. Meanwhile, well, while it dries, take the cap, take a square piece of paper. I have used a one-sided paper. Just place it like this. And paper, put the bottle cap inside and you're just going to push the rest of the paper inside, that's all, the corners of the paper and just folding it and putting it inside. Is it clear? So this is your face, did you get it? Yes. Now you have to... I think we could do this last. We could leave this and now we can put the hair. Okay. So I've taken this piece of wool. Sorry, jute. I'm just folding it. This should be okay. Take some adhesive. Yes, if you want the hair to come forward on the face, you could put some fevicol there and pull one or two strands also. You can make it thicker. It's your wish. Actually, if you take the midline, you would get it evenly. I didn't do that. So remember to take the midpoint of the string too. Right? Now, let's draw the features. The eyebrows. The eyes. eyelashes if you want always remember to close your cap and 
in a small mouth. Now, I will keep this aside. We will just make the dress for this doll. You could use fabric or paper as I told you. Thinner paper is easy for you to crush. So I have taken, this is again, I am reusing very, very old paper that I had at home. You can either make pleats like this. You can make fan folded pleats. Okay. But here, what I am going to do is, I am just going to crush it around because it's thin paper. It's easier. They just stick this paper around, okay, or you could tie it with a string too. Even if it's fabric, you could do the same thing, or you could stitch the fabric at the other end also. Rock is ready for your little doll. This paper is a little big. Can you see the bottle? So you can snip off the corners. It just a little. Yes. I think. Sometimes it's better to use your fingers, right? So now, my little girl is ready. Wait for some time, let it stick. And since it's Christmas time now, Shall we make her Mary or you could even make an angel? So I need, yes, if it's Mary, then I'm going to put this on top of her head. Just put it this way. You made you look cute. That's all. And in case you want her to become an angel and you want your angel to have white clothes, then you can have a white fabric or a white piece of paper. And then take another piece of paper. I have folded this piece of paper and I've drawn the shape of wings on one side. Okay. Now you hold this. You just cut it out. You open it out and see you got the wings for your angel ready. Can you see? You just have to take some fevicol again. And stick in the middle, okay, in the midpoint, and just stick it behind like this. Yeah. And if she is an angel, then you would also want something on her head. Shining it could be silver or it could be gold. You can decide. Always remember when you take any adhesive, you have to use very little. I think we generally have the tendency of taking too much thinking we will stick better. It's always better to take very little of adhesive. 
don't waste much at the same time it sticks faster Just make something like this and stick it here also. So this is not an angel. So can this be Mary? You want an angel. Yes. What doll? No, what is missing? We've not made the hands still, right? Let's make the hands. I have taken another piece of paper. You just have to, again it's folded in the middle. You just have to draw, just see how much you will need. How It depends on how big your bottle is. How long should the hands be, okay? Based on that, you could draw out. Five, yes. Cutting out. Shape of the hand. And then you could stick this behind. Like this. Can you see the hands? Again you need some. Fevicol. If you have thin wire, metal wire also, you could use that. A single piece of wire can be used, which you could bend at the corners also. Right. The doll is ready. Did you like it? Yes? I hope you remember what I said. So if you want her to be an angel, you just have to put your wings. And of course an angel would also have a wand in her hand. So you could make a wand with a star. I leave that to you. You can do as many things as you like. You can get creative. And you can make many dolls like this and even make up a story. Since it is Christmas time, I just thought I will let you know how you could use an ordinary. I know all of us are ordering online now because of the pandemic. So you could take a box like this. This is from Amazon. You could just take this. I'm sure you get a lot of such things in packing, isn't it? You could place this on top. Yes, of course you can stick it. I'm not sticking it now. You could stick it. You're going to make a permanent structure. Okay. What does this look like? Yes, the stable that Jesus was born. The stable or the cow shed as you all know better. Okay. So a little angel or Mary is there. We also, this was something that I had at home which I've also used. This table is ready. You can make a small baby as Joseph. You can set up your crib. Making three, four dolls like you have to have a Joseph, you have to have a Mary, an angel and of course a little baby Jesus. Easy, isn't it? Please show me your crib or your dolls when you make them. It was simple, isn't it? Start making plenty of dolls like this and creating stories. Have fun. Get creative. See you soon. Bye.